Hello, in this video I will explain the dark system for racing young birds and especially the biggest mistakes most fanciers make. Whether you've been racing the dark system for 20 or 30 years or just starting out, this video will be beneficial to dark you. The dark system manipulates the pigeon system into thinking winter is coming. By reducing the day length, the pigeons rapidly molt their body feathers and they stop molting their wing feathers. That is the goal of the dark system, to have a complete body molt and a full wing going into the young birds. When the birds are placed on the dark system, they go into a body molt within several days, sometimes even immediately, it seems. The system thinks winter is coming, so they rapidly molt the body feathers. Now, some pigeons will continue to molt wing flights. It doesn't matter one bit at all. If they're molting wing, wing flights, no worries. Some pigeons stop molting on the first and second flight. Others may molt five, six flights. Again, the secret to the dock system is molting the body. You want the body to be completely molted out. The pigeons fly effortless when the body is molted and they have a full wing. The dock system quickly pushes pigeons to maturity. Pigeons grow and mature during the body molt. So by pushing the babies fast through the body molt, the pigeons mature quickly. And that is another reason to use the dock system. It seems like their immune system always actually in matures along with the body. So it's like a snake molting its skin. Every time a bird molts its body, that's when the growth spurt takes place. So we are pushing the pigeons into maturity. So on the dark system, the pigeons think winter is coming. They quickly molt the body. They stop, uh, delay molting the wing, and they have full body and full wing going into winter. That is what we are achieving with the dark system. It gives the birds the best chance of surviving through the winter. Although we are looking at a race season, we are tricking the biological clock to think winter is. The biggest advantage with the dark system is the young pigeons are mature. They have become adult pigeons. They're no longer babies. Uh, the only thing they have that are babies are the baby flights. The rest of the pigeon is completely mature. Their immune system is stronger. They're more powerful. In every aspect, they're at a big advantage over babies that weren't on a system. Some of the disadvantages with the dark system could be the birds are very mature when training begins. They also can go into old birds with baby feathers. Uh, that's a bit of a disadvantage. Um, many, when they darken the lofts, there's not enough ventilation, so the birds can get sick. All this has to be taken into account. And um, a lot of times, one trick I'll tell you how to prevent is they start molting body feathers maybe halfway into the race season and then it's over at that point. One big mistake fanciers make with the dark system is they raise babies extremely early, they wean them right into the dark system and they're on the dark system for months and months and months. There's actually no need for this. Uh, you can start later say wean a round of babies in April, wean a round of babies in May, and then start the dark, dark system. It takes about nine weeks for them to go through the body molt. It doesn't matter if they've dropped three or four flights. That's, that's just doesn't matter one bit at all. We're trying to stop and finish the body molt. We want them to complete the body molt. So if birds molt a few flights, so what? They'll finish the molt faster on the other end for old. A couple options with the dark system would be to, if you do wean babies young and early, get them out, get them flying, train them maybe out to 30 miles, and then start the dark system. Then push them through to maturity. You'll be at a much bigger advantage waiting to start the dark system and getting the birds flying and trained earlier in their life than um, putting them on the dark system and trying to train birds later. Keep in mind, the ideal time is nine and a half hours of light each day. Now, I would suggest having a natural sunrise. Now, that may mean you have to go in at night and open everything up and let the sun come up in the mornings. Stick to a natural sunrise and then nine and a half hours later, darken the loft. If you can do this, it puts you at an advantage. Keep in mind, the loft does not have to be totally dark. It doesn't have to be black. I mean, my birds, when I used to race the dark system, could go down and drink. I mean, they would move around some. You could almost read in the loft. Uh, the big concern would be ventilation. When you darken the loft, you may want to look to put an exhaust fan in. You want to keep the airflow moving. 
So you want to have the darkness, but you also must really be conscious of ventilation. You don't want to have it stagnant and smelly and poor airflow in the dark system. When the pigeons are on the dark system, you must feed a high protein feed and feed plenty. Give them all they want. They're growing fast. They're molting fast. Uh, plenty of grits and minerals. Grits and minerals are more important than even the feed. You want to load them up with grits and minerals, plenty of high protein feed, and keep it to them the whole time while they're molting their bodies because they do molt and grow so very rapid. When the pigeons are on the dark system, you can let them out to fly in the mornings. Uh, when they're molting the body heavy, they really don't like to fly. Uh, when they get to a point where they have a decent amount of body feathers, you could actually start training short tosses. Again, my the best bet is to train them before you start the dock system. Maybe get them out 25, 30 miles, put them on the system, and then push them to maturity without worrying about flying them or training them during the dock system. That seems to be the best. So if you start early, you might be able to train them before you even start the dock system. And again, if they molt three or four, five, six flights, does not matter at all. We're worried about the body molt. The wing molt will stop, but we're worried about the body molt. We want a full body feather. Now, here is one of the biggest secrets to the dock system. If your spray season is, say, eight or 10 weeks long, you want to keep the pigeons on the dark system until halfway through the season. So nine and a half hours of, of day length until halfway through the season. Um, that will extend their performance. At the midway point of the season, you can increase the daylight to 17 hours. Again, you want a natural sunrise and run the lights until 17 for 17 hours each day. That will actually also bring up performance. It'll bring on form for the second half of the season. If you start running lights before the season and you have a long race season, about six weeks in, the birds may start to body molt. And once they start to body molt, it's over. You know, they're, they're not going to perform. So keep in mind, one of the biggest secrets with the dark system, should you have a longer race season, is keep them on the dark until the midway point of the race season. Another mistake many make with the dark system is they try to separate the sexes, cocks and hens, and they use that to motivate them. It's a waste of time. Leave them in one group. Should they cuddle and mate, which is fine. It's natural. Let them go. But you won't gain anything by trying to separate sexes and motivate the birds. If you um, are a fan of motivation, check out my motivation video. Again, you may help one, you'll hurt 20. It's better off never to motivate pigeons like we try to motivate pigeons. Another mistake most fanciers make when using the dark system is when they extend the day, they use regular light bulbs. You must buy natural daylight bulbs. Uh, they're a full spectrum bulb. Again, the pigeons think it's midsummer and encourages form. They're a little more expensive and you can save them each year for when you do the dark system, but buy the full spectrum light bulbs. You can get them on the internet and uh, it makes a big difference. With the dark system, you're racing pigeons that are mature, they're not growing, they're not molting. You wanna race them on predominantly barley. You wanna keep them light and buoyant. Um, try to watch my feeding videos for some tips on that, but again, you don't need to overfeed the pigeons. They pretty much fly effortlessly and they're indestructible. They can fly weakly, but they should race on predominantly barley to keep them light and buoyant. Now after the race season, I would shut off the lights, go back to a natural day. They'll go into a body molt for the next five or six weeks. And then you have two options. You can increase the light again to 17, 18 hours a day so they continue to molt the wings, or you could cut and pull wing flights throughout the winter. Uh, you'd have to take your time, cut a flight, let it dry, pull a flight. It's really up to you, but you want them to complete the molt so they don't double drop going into the old bird season. One false thing with the dark system is the birds won't perform as old birds. They will, they will perform as old birds. The problem is pigeons that perform in the dark system are performing because of the system. So it's hard to tell what is actually good. When you get to the old birds, the actual good pigeons will perform and the birds that were just performing because they were at an advantage because of the system will not perform. 
So don't get discouraged. There's only a small percentage of good ones. And if you're getting 10 ahead of the club in young birds, you're not gonna get 10 ahead of the club in old birds because out of that 10, it may have only been one or two really good. And again, after the young bird season, you have to feed them the rich seeds. They need plenty of protein, plenty of minerals. They're gonna be molting the body again. They're gonna be molting their flight feathers. Uh, you want them to have everything they need. And again, I'm Frank McLaughlin, McLaughlin Lofts. I hope you like and subscribe and comment to my videos and uh, we'll keep them coming and I appreciate you watching. Thank you.